Hey everybody, Arnaldo Offman here of Gear It First on behalf of Global Trust America. I'm about to show you a product that most of us have said it's about time. Let's talk about totems and Global Trust's new top light that's going to make totems one of the most versatile way to hang lighting. Before we do any short jokes, this is not a totem for me, but I want to be able to just show you exactly how this works. Now, you guys are all familiar with totems, right? You got your truss, you may wrap it up, and then you want to put lights on top of it. Now, in my previous videos, I have done the standard top plate, and you drill a hole in the middle of it, and you put the light, ta-da. There's been other products as well, such as the DTFXMT, or the DT Dyno Wheel, or you could do an SAP plate, with the LB3800 bar. But all of these have one problem short of the LB3800 bar, and that is that you can only hang one thing on top of it. And then there's some setups that I've done where I want it to look really elegant, and having a big black bar across the top, even if it's powder coated, it just doesn't look right. So I've had to take my top plate and drill multiple holes. By the time that I'm done drilling holes in this thing, first of all, I'm not very good with drilling, so, um, this thing winds up having more holes in all sorts of shape and sizes and well, it's more holes in the plot to lost. It was a terrible show. So it's kind of aggravating. Got a plate that looks like it went through the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, just holes everywhere, not even the right type and I hated it. And I, I can't be the only person that's complained about not having a plate or some way to mount multiple lights on a totem because that was the big unveiling for NAMM is, hey, look, we've got new products. Uh, Global Trust is really paying attention to the way the totems are being used. And they came up with the GTMH. This is perhaps the most beautifully bored piece of aluminum on the existence of this earth. Uh, these are really smooth, very well rounded, just a beautiful look. So what exactly is the GTMH? Well, it's a top light, but you've got multiple holes in multiple sizes. You've got one over here, got several over here. You got a couple of the big ones here. Why this big hole? For cabling. I mean, think about it. If you're wrapping your truss up in spandex, you've got this cable that goes over the top plate and it looks kind of weird. Now it can just hide in there. Super elegant. I like that. It's pretty dope, but let's check it out here. Okay. So we've got our totem. You put the GTMH on top. Make sure you use your pins and arc clips because seriously what kind of weirdo would set this up without actual pins and clips on there right and now we can set up our light for this i'm using the m8 bolt that comes with the mini 360 and i can set this up over here like this or i can set it up over here you know what's beautiful about this is that i can do moving heads i can do my floods and i can adjust exactly where i need them to be so I'm gonna just kind of take this over here. And in the words of the Joker, Heath Ledger, the good one. Ta-da. So now let's go ahead and set up another one. Let's say we have to light up the other side. And there it is right there. So now I can adjust this by either forward or backwards if I put it on these further ones, or I can do, if I'm doing the front, I can do left to right, and then I can plug everything in and bring it down this convenient little uh, hole right there for the power cabling. This is great because now I can do moving heads, I can do floods, and really there's enough room that depending on the flood, you could probably put even one more in here and have them going in all three directions. As a matter of fact, uh, depending on how you have your light set up, you could technically put one flood on each side and have a full 360 coverage without needing the DT dyno wheel. This, this is awesome. I'm a big fan of this plate. And of course, if you want your totems to look a little bit more elegant and you don't want to do the all aluminum look, Global Trust can powder coat them in whatever color you're going to need. Here's an example in the black. Beautiful black gloss. It's already survived some abuse from us tossing it around and testing it. Uh, but I'm telling you, it's fantastic. And just so you can see all the holes that you've got here, we've got uh, two on each side going left to right. Then we've got forwards and backwards. You actually have five of them on each side here. 
you've got your center one, and then you've got four that can move your lights left and right. Lots of different possibilities that you can do with the GT-MH. Make no mistake, if you do totems, this needs to be in your toolbox. If you don't do totems, this should be in your toolbox anyways, because sometimes things will change at the last minute, and what you thought was gonna be a regular setup of trusting on two crank stands and you realize you don't have enough room and now you gotta do totems, you're gonna wish you had one of these. I'm telling you, this has saved my life so far multiple times in the short time that I've had it, and I'm so delighted that I'm not gonna sit there and drill multiple times through existing base plates. Now, this guy's out already. So make sure, call your dealer, hit them up, and ask them about the GTMH. My name is Arnaldo Offerman from Gear It First on behalf of Global Trust America. Thank you guys so much for watching. Any questions, comments, etc. you guys know what to do, leave them down below. Hit that subscribe button and slap that bell around a few times so you can get more notifications of other amazing life-changing videos such as this. Hopefully they change your life. If not, this guy will. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night and God bless.